excited are you for your first postseason March Madness? I'm very excited. I think this is like the peak of the season and everyone talks about like this is a time where, where it matters and I think we're peaking at the right time. So I'm excited to be able to start March. Are you excited for the fact that your whole team is healthy at the time that you're going into the postseason? Yeah, I think that's a huge thing. Just being having dealt with so many injuries, I think now if, if there was ever a time where we wanted everyone healthy and everyone playing well, it would be now. So I think it makes a huge difference in our confidence and just how we've been playing. In the dispersion of the Big East Awards, it wasn't all people that have always started. Do you feel like that represented how people have stepped up throughout the season? Yeah, definitely. I think, like you said, we've had so many people start. So I think we, it's not like we have so many like starting five. So we have so many people that could take that spot. And I think first off, March Madness, finally having fans there. How is that going to change the environment, especially with the Big East tournament, too? Oh, it changes the environment a lot. Um, just the fact that we can have fans um, and we're in Connecticut so we have home court advantage um, and that's a real thing uh, and you know we have the best fans so we're really excited to <laughs> um, it to be normal again. The spread of Big East awards it wasn't just starters it wasn't just a certain grade level do you think it kind of represented how different people have stepped up this year? Yeah I feel like a lot of different people stepped up in a lot of different ways this year um, you know, that just shows what kind of team that we have and how many people can do a lot of different things. So, I mean, that speaks for herself. <laughs> and then specifically, Nika Mule earning Defensive Player of the Year. Everyone says she brings a lot of energy. What do you have to say about that? Really happy for her, really proud of her. Um, she does bring a lot of energy to our team, defensively and offensively, and she's just super aggressive, and, you know, we need a point guard like that. And then with the adversity you face this year as a team, we get to see the high points of winning games, but do you feel like it kind of highlights something about mental health for athletes? Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a general adversity that athletes have to deal with through sport? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, everybody in general, you know, mental health is a, a real thing, and everybody in general goes through a lot of things, but especially student athletes, because we have to balance so many different things, and there's so many, you know, like, achievements that we're trying to get and just pressure from being here um, and we're always having the like lights on us and spotlight on us so mental health is a real thing and the adversity that we went through this year I feel like mental health needs to be highlighted because we went through a lot um, but obviously we have the resources and stuff for that so yeah.